there be more convenient type browser in the future? Type browser? Yeah, for right now you have to enter the types manually. Here? Yeah. Yeah. I think it already got better in the alpha. If you start typing something and make brackets, then is there a new list of types you can choose? Or is it not on the I mean, this was a quick hack. This, this, this Just to have something there. Yeah, one can write this one better. I think this will come with the imports because if you import stuff from from the .NET libraries, you also have to choose types, which types you want to import, and so I think in the process of reworking the imports, the .NET imports, we'll also add a better type browser. You already tried a large amount of libraries. Uh, OpenCV, no, not yet, but... Uh, I think you just clicked once the whole MS call it. Yeah. It's with like 15,000 nodes or something. 30,000. 40, 30,000. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is that you always... So that the end user can use it nicely, you have to write some kind of wrapper, either in C-sharp or in, you patch it in VL. So usually you don't want to use the the direct function. As of, not as an end user, you don't. It's often you have to have too much knowledge about the library itself. Disposing stuff, resources. Maybe the uh, app shell or bring some licenses. Yeah, that's true. At least they are better aligned to the data flow style. <laughs> 